Hello my fragrance lovers and my good smelling companions. Dominic here for another fragrance review. Uh, today we're just going to have a little bit of fun again and this is going to be a perfume battle. A showdown between two perfumes. Uh, women's perfumes. <laughs> uh, just for the fun. And um, However, it will also be somewhat informative because there is real genuine information in this video. Therefore, guys, if you're thinking of buying uh, the woman in your life or, you know, your sister or somebody, even your mom, a perfume, maybe this video will help you decide uh, which of these two is best to purchase. Women out there, you, if you don't already know these perfumes because they're not entirely rare by any means, um, this may also help you choose which one to purchase out of these two if you ever decide to go for uh, such, um, well, I wouldn't say cheap, but... They're, they're almost what you'd call cheapies, but they are affordable perfumes and they are quite good. So, nothing terribly uh, luxurious about these two. Um, so, uh, I'm going to just show you what I have here on the table. So, I have a sample of Vera Wang's Princess. Um, those of you who saw an earlier video will know that uh, I kind of touched on this one already. This is only a sample. Uh, it says it's two mils. Um, Okay, so we have that one, and um, we have uh, then opposing that we have got uh, by Calvin Klein, she a beauty. Okay, um, don't worry, this isn't my. <laughs> I don't use either of these uh, on myself. So, um, but uh, yeah, this one I happen to have the bottle for on the top. I could not find it. Um, it doesn't seem to be around. Um, and um, we also have two uh, sampling uh, papers. Uh, which I'll be spraying the perfume onto as I go through each one. So this is going to be a little breakdown and then kind of uh, seeing, uh, weighing up merits of each of the two and then sort of delivering my little uh, verdict, my little opinion on which of these two is the one worth buying. Um, now, it's true though, um, but we'll get into it, but the, the kind of the age group kind of comes in a bit with these things. But um, that again is also something that can be a bit subjective, like it doesn't really... There's no official thing saying this is for this age to that. So, um, again, people will have to use their own discernment with these things. Um, so, okay, are we ready to kick off then? Let's um, let's get on with uh, the um, the one that's actually got a proper bottle, and uh, we'll we'll see what this one has to say for itself. So, we'll we'll start with uh, the Sheer Beauty by Calvin Klein. Um, now, a few things I'll say. Um, let, let's just give you a look at the actual box with the whole thing and and the and the top on it. Here we go. All right, um, so there we are. Um, a few things about this before I give it a little sample and spray it on um, onto the card. Let's give you a little bit of info. Um, so yeah, as you know, it's by, uh, if you call it the house, but a general overarching uh, producer is the uh, is Calvin Klein, but the, um, the actual perfumer is said to be uh, somebody called Sophie Labbe. Sophie Labbe. Um, okay, so, um, and it says for this one, it's, um, it was launched in 2012, they do now have their, like, a flank, I think, Sheer Beauty Essence, I think. Um, now, uh, I'll spray it first, and then, then I'll talk about the notes. But, um, presentation-wise, um, it's okay. Um, what I, I'd have a little problem with is, I think he does this with a lot of his ones, and to me it just looks a little on the cheap side. The name, it's it's invisible almost. Um, you have to go right down before you see the actual name on it. Probably can't even see it there on the camera, but um, the name is here, okay? <clears throat> um, some people like the um, the elegance maybe of just not having a name punching out would kind of ruin the um, the presentation. Uh, maybe you like just this nice glass, oval-shaped bottle. Uh, it's quite a thick glass, uh, which... Um, it's also quite nice. I'm pretty sure the atomizer is fairly standard. Um, nothing too exciting about this one. It's quite plain. Um, and uh, it's very, it's fairly affordable, but it depends where you buy it. Sometimes it can be a little bit expensive. Uh, whereas the other one, that's usually always quite affordable. Um, anyway, um, nice clear liquid there. It's got a tiny bit of a pinkish sheen to it, and I'm not entirely convinced whether that's um, the actual glass or whether the actual juice is also a little bit pinkish, but I think the liquid is actually clear. 
Um, that's just uh, my uh, thoughts on that, in my opinion. I don't know though. Um, right, let's give this one a little blast and let's see what it's got inside and uh, see how it performs. All right, um, I'm getting kind of this mild wave of floral, fruity, kind of a gentle, kind of um, <clears throat> calm sort of a scent. Um, I think that could be for, whew, um, hmm. Yeah, this is somebody who's not trying to be uh, too explosive with perfume. I think it's, um, I think it's quite, uh, it's quite gentle. It's very unoffensive. It's very, um, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's feminine, but it, it, uh, it just, it just speaks of, um, I think, a fairly, fairly standard, fairly nice, um, ordinary perfume, <laughs> if you can say something like that. It, uh, to me, I'm not picking anything too unique. I think. Um, Yeah, there's something kind of sweetish, something floral, um, and um, it's quite fruity. I think um, it's the sort of mildness of it that that it kind of jumps out here. It's it's not quite what you'd call a statement perfume. Um, this one isn't desperate for attention. I think this is a kind of calm, collected kind of a, a woman who just um, uh, doesn't bother too much about. Um, she's not all about the perfume, but she has it, and it's it's kind of gives her that confidence and. Uh, come close enough you're going to get that nice little waff and it, it's very um it, it's almost a bit dignified i mean it's it's um it's not too loud or too sort of um too girly or anything it's um it's a nice one um but i call it a sexy one a little bit i mean um it's quite good i mean i, I think it's just a good ladies um uh safe uh, perfume uh, basically so we'll see what we have inside this one. Um, so uh, they say that it's got a couple of notes going on. Um, it has got actually, well, it's got nine notes. So it looks like it's the three for each of the uh, levels, as it were. So your top in this one uh, opens up with the uh, bergamot, the peach, and the uh, berries. Okay. Um, uh, so the bergamot and the peach, um, that is definitely... Um, Yeah, it's not too often that you get peach in a scent. Um, it doesn't jump out especially, but I do like the peach. Um, okay, uh, your heart notes then. We'll go on to uh, get lily, jasmine, and peony. Now that's interesting. Um, so they've got those um, that kind of um, that floral center there of the lily. The peony is quite an unusual one. That's a again, it's a nice flower. Um, so they got the, those um, sort of middle notes of those um, florals, and I like the peony. That's something uh, I don't know how often people actually come across that one in perfumes. And then your, your base goes down to it's actually musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. So I'm, I'm looking at that and thinking good combination. Not a very strong or punchy one. I'm sure the performance stays quite well though. Um, uh, yeah, it's not too. Um, <clears throat> It's by no means aggressive. It's it's calm. It's uh, it's kind of well blended. It's a proper perfume. There's no messing around. It was um, design is okay. Um, so basically, it's just a safe, fairly affordable uh, perfume. Which uh, it's got those feminine notes. It's got um, uh, the floral, the um, fruity, and um, yeah, you could probably wear it um, kind of at any age group really. And um, Someone who's really a bit younger might want something a little more punchy, but it depends um, on what kind of a circle of people they are with as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is, has enough distinction to be somebody's signature scent. I mean, it might be. It's a nice little kind of addition, something that you would kind of have as an everyday wear if you're looking for something that's just safe and you can just use plenty of it. Um, this is a good choice for that. Um, all right, so we're moving on to... Um, Vera Wang Princess and the box and bottle are going to look like this. Um, okay, so um, now this one 
actually it says that um, you, you can get descriptions where they'll only give three main notes on it, but then other ones where there's actually a, a whole load more. Um, basically, um, this one is still fairly popular. It, it's actually very affordable. Like you can get like, you know, 50 mil bottles of it or even 100 mil for like, you know, 20 and 30 pounds and that kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, it's never really any more than like 30 quid to get a bottle of this, even if it's a huge, big, honking um, uh, 100 mil bottle. Uh, so for some reason it's very affordable. Um, uh, my assumption is the uh, performance might um, need topping up, perhaps a little bit more than that one. So um, that's just, I, I think um, I have tried them before, you know, uh, to, to kind of test them a bit. It was a little bit hard to tell which one was the stronger um, lasting, but um, they both did quite all right. I mean, this this one, um, uh, well, this one has a bit more of a, a voice to it, but we'll get into that. Um, so um, uh, if you read just the description where it only gives like three notes to this one, um, you know, you're just basically getting, um, well, it's water lily for the top, then it's got uh, pink guava, and then uh, chiffon vanilla, which is apparently a kind of a, it's like a cake, <laughs> kind of that mixture and vanilla -y stuff. But anyway, it's a, um, yeah. Uh, but then, um, so we'll give this a little spray and then we'll, then we'll go through some of the rest of those notes that they, apparently, um, this one also has jumbled into it. So, um, uh oh. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I had to make sure I had the right one there. So this one has this is plain and uh, ready for a spray. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that one's a lot richer. It's got a lot of depth. It's just it's just brimming with stuff. Um, Uh, now the, the theme with the other one is, um, like I was saying, it's, it's because it's like somebody who's not trying to make um, too much of a statement, uh, that the sheer beauty, I think they chose that name partly because um, it's kind of the, the, the woman who's kind of, <coughs> doesn't have too many um, kind of uh, artificial things, kind of, that's what they say, but I mean that's, uh, it, she just depends on, you know, purely pure skin, just, you know, no uh, add-ons or whatever you call it, and uh, it's, it's a statement of just, um, I'm totally good the way I am kind of thing. This one is trying to, is trying to, is um, not quite saying that. It's, uh, it's, it's evoking something like royal, like it's a princess. I mean, but, uh, and it's, um, it's brimming with stuff. So it's got this, it's, it's, it wants to celebrate the kind of the youth, the femininity. So, um, it's definitely got loads of stuff going on. Um, what I'm picking out, I think, is um, a, a, a real mixture between kind of fruit, almost sugary kind of fruit. Maybe that's kind of this chiffon vanilla they got going on. And then variety as well and uh, a lot of depth. And uh, then the, um, yeah, it's more the sweety and the fruity and maybe something kind of, um, indulgent yeah so maybe like chocolatey as well and then fruit as well but um oh sorry flowers <coughs> all right so we'll have a we'll have another look and see uh what else this one has inside so um they if they're breaking it down to like um several notes they're not even uh in an order of um uh, top base and heart and uh, top heart and base but they're just i got a list here which says um they've got um yes yeah, delicious Water lily, lady apple, uh, mandarin, moringue, <laughs> uh, apricot skin, uh, ripe pink guava, uh, Tahitian flower, wild uh, tuberose, dark chocolate, pink frosting accord, uh, precious amber, <laughs> I really jazzing up here, musk, and then the chip on vanilla. It's quite a list of stuff. So, um, yeah, um, and they've got their own little themes going on. Uh, okay, so uh, I think, um, so out of the two, um, I think this one doesn't project as well. 
as this one. This one is a bit more explosive, so um, uh, however, with longevity, I think they're a little bit equal, so you'll still get a good um, lasting time out of both of these perfumes. So they're kind of equal on their footing. Um, maybe, hmm, if I had to give it to one of them, uh, I'd put this, I, I think, uh, I did try them back, it was hard to tell, but I think this one is a uh, little, little, lasts a little bit longer um, uh, than this one. I think this one has, has, um, has that ability to really launch out and then it kind of goes recedes a good bit um but it'll still stick around and um it's still it's still very popular it still sells brilliantly um i, I think the um the thing we're really talking about is that this one is uh, a bit more of um for a bit more of the mature age or a little older times and um, i don't mean older than old people but like i just mean little older than like this one would be up to your like twenties, and then it would start. You you start wondering whether there's something that's uh, a little more ladylike or womanly, or you could still go with it. You see, it depends on your personality. Some people like the um, the kind of it is feminine, it is girly, but it is also rich. I mean, it has loads of notes in it, and um, it's also fairly safe. But it, it it's it's a little um, sort of louder. It's a little more um, you know, it's 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 just uh, it's got a bit more energy to it than this one. This one is calmer. This is um, kind of just um. Not making too much of a big deal but it is a good solid perfume all the same uh, this one um if i had to choose one of these two i'd probably just go for this one the excitement of all those notes and um so out of the two um you might be a little safer depending on um what your age is or the age of the person you want you want to buy this one buying this one but then this one i think is a little bit more delicious and <laughs> uh but just just lovely just super feminine uh, but kind of a on the girly side as well and um yeah uh, you'll have heard a little bit of this anyway in um, a different review i did uh, it's just um it's com it's comparing different samples of, of women's fragrances uh, it's about uh, kind of a, a duel between uh, uh like three or four different women's perfumes all right um i hope you've enjoyed that little one i think this is this is the winner for me um although this one has good points as well um and uh you know for you this one might be the the winner um also the presentation i would say um this one is is nice once you have the, the top on it as well um so it is quite nice really uh, this other one um presentation is also good um and it's got this heart shape as you know um a, a little bit tied between those two but um i think this one is um perhaps uh, just a little bit more basic um depending on what age range they are. This, this is good for a younger person though. So again, these are a little hard to compare because um, they are different in the sense that um, I think this this is kind of designed and aimed a little more at the younger people. That's my take on that. Okay, um, it's been it's been a fun little ramble there uh, with you on that. Um, give a little thought, a few thoughts below if you want to on that uh, because uh, that's been a little bit of fun for me and I'm a little bit indifferent as to what other people really think and um, whether they agree with my thoughts on them um, but it's been a little bit of fun thanks again for joining me for another video hope to see you again soon march forward smelling good and beautiful